Hey guys, this video covers how to swap the keyboard on a Dell Latitude D620 or D630 laptop. First step, remove the battery. Once the battery is removed, set it aside. Open up the notebook. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver. I know there's a notch right here that you snap up with your screwdriver and you pry this this piece off. This is just this goes over the keyboard bezel area. Now there are three screws, one here, one here, and one here that need to be removed. So remove those. Use a small Phillips screwdriver. If you use a big one you might strip it out. So make sure you are using the right screwdriver for this thing. Now Remove the keyboard. It's a it takes a little bit of force. Um, you kind of have to pull it this way, I guess, and release it from this clip right here. This one's a pain usually. Um, this side comes out real easy, but this this one is a little bit of a pain. So once that's out, you slide it forward this way and flip it over. Get your Phillips screwdriver. There's a notch here you can release this blue retaining mechanism right here. Now to remove the connection there's a blue pull tab. Just pull that out. You're done. Keyboard's out. Um, so to put it back in, put your new keyboard in. Just line up the connection there. Line that up. Slide that uh, blue mechanism in there. Now you need to line these bottom pieces up, these clips. Line them up, make sure they're, they're in there. And make sure this lines up and snaps in there. Now, there we go. Put your screws back in. If you happen to lose a screw deep inside this thing, you can usually flip the laptop upside down and kind of rattle it out. If you still can't get it out, definitely don't turn it back on because then you'll probably need a new motherboard if it shorts the thing out. So to put this bezel back in, you'll notice it has um, little notches right here that have to be lined up first. Kind of angle that in there like that and work your way from left to right. Get that, get that clip right there. Get this clip near your power button. There's a clip right in this area. And finally, this end right here. This is a little, takes a little, uh, little snap action there, but this should be flush. Now, put your battery back in. And if, it, if you did it right and hit that power button, it should turn back on. And that's it. Have a good one.